Yo, what is up? Anthony here with Goat Guns, and let's talk about our shell ejecting models. Goat Guns technically has 15 different models you can buy and 30 total if you count the, the different color variations. Now, out of all of those, three models are shell ejecting, officially shell ejecting models. And here they are. We have the 1911, the SIG MCX Rattler, and the Barrett MK22, also known as the MRAD. Now, when Goat Guns first came out, the models were not shell ejecting. They pretty much had moving parts. Uh, you could pull the trigger. You can pull the, the charging handle. Dust cover would s fling open. And you could uh, add attachments. The, the, the stock uh, could move. The, you can adjust the stock and all that. Which was pretty cool. And even as is, just like this, I think this is still dope. This is the a the Go Guns AR, also known as Charky. Um, still super dope. You can you know you can, I mean, pretty much dismantle it, and um, and it's just a super cool uh, uh, desk piece or something to fidget with. But then, Go Guns decided to step the game up, and they stepped the game up officially with the Sig. MCX Rattler. Now this bad boy is officially licensed. Sig logo. And um I mean pretty much the specs for this came from Sig to build. But when they built this one, they decided to add an extra feature, and that was the shell ejecting feature. Now, this was something that was being asked for by the fans, and um, Gokuns decided that they were going to go ahead and, and make it happen, and this was the first model to do it. It's super dope. Dummy rounds. Now, this one, they ended up making it... The, the, they made the scale just slightly bigger... Then the AR, but it works. It's freaking cool. Now let me show you the shell ejecting. So you pull the charging handle back. When you, you see the round going in, then when you pull it back again, shoots out. Super cool feature, and the SIG MCX Rattler was the first one to come with that feature. Then, after the SIG was released, the 1911 got an upgrade. Now, originally, the, 19, the 1911 was not a shell ejecting model. Let's see if I have one. For example, no shell ejecting. Still has the rounds, but you couldn't shell eject. But the history behind the 1911, the Goat Guns 1911, is that when they originally built the Goat Guns 1911, they built it with the shell ejecting function, but left it out. Now, I think it was because they didn't, it wasn't too sure with the pistol and legalities and if there was going to be any kind of trouble as far as uh, making it shell ejecting and it being just a little too realistic. But, turns out, it's not a big deal. So, they went ahead and added the piece 
that it needed to make it shell ejecting. So, with that, if you have an older 1911 and say you customized it, you painted it, and it's like perfect, exactly what you want it to be, you can technically take the piece out of a newer Go Guns 1911, you can take it out and put it into the your older 1911 and make it shell ejecting. For example, this one that Gunny Designs did for me originally was a non shell ejecting model, but then I took the piece out of a out of a newer 1911 and had to put it into this because this is just too dope and I couldn't I did not want it to not be a shell ejecting model. Now that originally was a non shell ejecting model. Oh not to mention with the 1911 the slide locks once the mag is empty. If you want if you want to get your hands on one of these uh custom gun ink design models go check out his YouTube channel Gun Ink Designs and hit him up or join the Gokuns Addicts group he's in the group hit him up Now he's 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 he's, he's always pretty booked so there might be a a, a significant waiting list uh, for his customs, but his customs are dope. They're dope. As a matter of fact, let me show you. The zombie SIG MCX Rattler. That is a Gun Inc. Designs custom. Freaking dope. Blood splatter. And his paint jobs are um, Duracoat. So they're not rattle can spray paint. Their Dura coat. This is my Bruce Lee custom, also done by Gunnick Design. Super dope. But go hit him up. Go show him some love. Give him some props. His customs are dope. He got he has more. <laughs> you just gotta see. Anyways. So the nineteen eleven got an upgrade. And was then converted into a shell ejecting model. Now, all of our 1911 colors and variations, they're all, they're all shell ejecting. All of them. Including the coyote. And obviously the black. You can get a suppressor for it too. And a compensator. Now this one right here, this pink one, is a limited edition. In other words, once they're sold out, they're done. And we still have some left. So get yours. It actually comes with the compensator. So I would, I would get my hands on that if I was you. But yes, so so the 1911 was next. Now, obviously, the 1911 came out a lot, uh, a long, uh, you know, a while ago. It's one of the earlier ones. Um, but even though uh, we still have to say the MCX Rattler is the first official shell ejecting goat gun, um, because the feature was added after this one came out. But Our next shell ejecting model, which was released earlier this year, is the Barrett MK22. Dope. I wrapped the suppressor. If you want to know how to do that, check my videos. Uh, check out my video in the how to uh, playlist. Super easy to do. Very, very easy to do and looks really cool. But, anyways, this one is on another level. Spring loaded bipod. Folding stock. But best of all, 
is its bolt action shell ejecting. So let me show you. If you can see that round in there, push that round up. And then just like that. Super dope. So the MK22 was the next one to become a shell ejecting model. Now, technically, the MK22 is the last one that is technically shell ejecting, but we have a couple of honorable mentions. Let me show you. The M1 Garand. If you don't have this one yet, you need to get it before we sell out. This one is dope. Was released on Veterans Day. Real leather sling configured just like it's supposed to. Nice wood grain pattern. This thing is all metal. Except for the sling, which is leather. But now this one is technically not a shell ejecting model because, but, but the reason why it's on the honorable mention list is because the clip ejects just like the real thing. Now you gotta listen really close. You might hear a tiny ping. If not, the ping was silent. <laughs> but check it out. Boom. So me personally, like I, I would consider this. If we were to make a list of shell ejecting models, uh, honestly, I would I personally would put the M1 in that list just because the the, the clip ejects and. Um, you know, if we had a choice between making the shell eject or the clip eject, uh, my choice would have been to do the clip. And I think it, it, I think this one was a win. So the M1 Garand clip ejecting deserves to be in the shell ejecting list, in my opinion. We have one more honorable mention. It is the RPG. <laughs> now, if you have the RPG, you know what's up with this. If you don't have it, let me show you. Now, this bad boy right here, all wood, wood and metal, sights lift up. Let's see if I can get that sight to. There we go. And you can, has the little safety back here. Thing is absolutely beautiful. But this one, the reason why it goes, it, it made it onto the honorable mention list is because, I mean, it doesn't really have shells to eject, but the rocket ejects. <laughs> so if you pull the trigger, if you can get your finger in there. So I stopped it. It didn't shoot all the way out because I stopped it, but the rocket ejects. Boom. Just like that. So, again, if we were to have a list of shell ejecting models, I personally would put this on the list because the rocket ejects. So, technically, I, th I, I would technically say this is a shell ejecting model. So, there you have it. The RPG 
the M1 Garand, the MK22, the 1911, and the SIG MCX Rattler. All shell ejecting from GOAT Guns. So get yours today at GOATGUNS.com. Look out for those particular models. They're all shell ejecting. They're super fun. But not to mention, I mean, all the all the other ones are super fun too. So uh, if you know if you're a true collector, go ahead and snatch up that that miniature gun rack and uh, stock it up with all your favorite goat guns. Stay tuned to the next video. Peace.